Hey guys, welcome back to Spring Boot tutorial for beginners series. So far we have learned what is Spring Boot and the fundamentals of Spring Boot, right? And in one of the previous video we have learned how to create a Spring Boot application using Spring Initializer and how to import the project in Spring Tools with ID. Now in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Spring Boot application in Spring Tools with ID itself and we'll run the Spring Boot application in Embedded Tomcat server, alright? and in upcoming videos we will see spring boot rest api basics and after that we will deep dive into building spring boot real time rest apis with real time database okay we will learn lot of stuff in upcoming videos okay great so let's go ahead and let's jump into spring tools suit id and let's quickly create spring boot project in spring tools suit id itself well in order to create spring boot project in spring tools suit id go to file menu new and then choose spring starter project well if you can see here service url so this is a spring initializer website url all right so look at here start.spring.io start.spring.io okay so this is a spring initializer website which is integrated in Spring Tools with ID. So instead of going to Spring Initializer website and creating Spring Boot project over here and downloading Spring Boot project as a zip file and we need to unzip the zip file and then we need to import this project in ID. So these are the manual steps, right? And Spring, you know, team has integrated Spring Initializer in Spring Tools with ID itself so that we can create Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer in Spring Tools with ID itself. All right, so we no need to go to Spring Initializer website and create a, create a Spring Boot project, unzip it and import in ID. So instead of that, we can quickly create Spring Boot project here itself. All right, great. So let's go ahead and let's give Spring Boot project name here. Let's give name as spring boot first app okay and look at here type so here we can see two types of projects marvin or gradle so we are going to choose marvin here and packaging here we have two options jar and war so we are going to run our spring boot application as a standalone so let's choose packaging as a jar and if you want to develop a, a Spring web application and if you want to deploy your Spring Boot application on external server as a WAR file, then you can choose packaging as a WAR. Okay. And here we are going to choose Java version 16. So while recording this video, Java version 16 is the latest version. So we are going to use Java, Java version 16. You can use Java 8 or 11 as per Java installation on your machine, but let's use a latest version of Java that is Java 16. And here you can see different JVM languages Java, Kotlin, Groovy. We are going to use Java. And let's give group ID as com.springboot.app okay you can group you can give any group id that you want but i i will give com.springboot.app simple okay and artifact id is nothing but your project name let's keep as it is and let's give origin as it is and description let's say spring boot first application and packaging let's give com. Spring boot dot post dot app something like this you can give any packaging name that you want but just I will give a simple packaging name like this go ahead and click on next and look at here this is the spring boot version as of now it is 2.5.0 this is a stable and uh, you know default Spring Boot version provided by Spring Boot team. So you can see here there are snapshots as well. But don't choose a snapshot. Always 
you know keep this this stable version as it is so this is recommended by spring boot team so let's keep default provided spring boot version as it is because it is a stable and uh, yeah recommended version so we can keep as it is all right great and look at here this is the available section and here we need to enter the dependency name for example we are going to create a simple rest api in next video for that we are going to choose spring web starter dependency okay so go ahead and choose spring web starter dependency so look at here spring web starter dependency we use to build web applications as well as rest apis and spring web starter dependency it internally you know uses spring muc libraries and spring web starter dependency internally provides apache tomcat as a default embedded container okay and we don't have to add explicitly apache tomcat dependency to our spring boot application because spring web starter dependency internally provides apache tomcat as a default embedded container all right so just remember whenever you want to develop spring boot rest api application or spring boot web application that is spring boot muc web application then use spring web starter dependency okay just remember when to use this dependency all right so to keep it simple uh, we you know we only select spring web starter dependency as of now going forward we'll focus on you know more about uh, some of the popular spring starter project dependencies so go ahead and click on finish okay so as this is the maven project so maven will take uh, you know few seconds to download all the dependencies from the internet and it will store on its local repository okay so let's wait a couple of seconds all right guys our spring boot application is created in spring tool suit id now if you can expand the folders this is the standard spring boot maven project structure okay and uh, you can see here this is the source folder and within the source folder we have main package within the main package we have java and resources package so we keep all our development source code inside a java package and we keep all our configuration files inside a resources folder and if you are developing spring mvc application then you need to keep your all html files inside templates folder and all your static files for example css files js files images within a static folder and this is application.properties file where we configure our all application level configurations for example if our spring boot application is connecting to a database then we keep all our spring boot you know database connection configuration inside this application.properties file okay just remember all the application level configurations we provide in application.properties file and within a src folder we have test folder so within a test folder we keep all our jnit test cases okay so apart from that you can see here the uh, different files mvnw so these are the maven wrappers so typically we use these files when we don't you know install apache maven on our computer so if you don't install apache maven on computer then you can use these wrapper files to run your spring boot application as a maven project so this is a very simple spring boot project structure okay great now if you expand your src folder here you can see spring boot first app application class so this is our main spring boot application class and this class contains main method 
and we can launch our Spring Boot application uh, okay by using this main method now what we'll do we'll run our Spring Boot application as a standalone in order to run our Spring Boot application go to this main Spring Boot entry point class right click on this class run as Spring Boot app let me expand the console and there we go our spring boot application is successfully running on tomcat embedded tomcat server which is running on port 8080 